welcome back to hack with gabriel and in this module i'm just going to show you how to hack wpa psky file encryption all right so this is a little disclaimer here this tutorial video is for educational purpose only we do not encourage viewers to use this document without legal permissions from concerned firm or individual as we do not responsible for any malicious art performed by the viewers hack with gabriel so this is a little disclaimer from me Alright, so what is a WPA specifically? So WPA stands for Wi-Fi Protected Access. It's a security standard for computing devices equipped with wireless internet connections. WPA was developed by the Wi-Fi Alliance to provide more soft sophisticated data encryption and better user authentication than wired equivalent privacy. So the original Wi-Fi security standard all right so uh, this is just a brief uh let me say a definition of what wpa is is basically um, more secure than the web which is the the last tutorial that i did and um, for you to read more probably you want to dig really deeper into what uh, wpa is all you just did is just follow the link and then it provides a lot of uh, enough of information for you to get started and understand what wpa is specifically okay so what uh, are the system requirements you need a linux environment wireless adapter that supports monitor mode and packet injection also you need a home lab so i've set up my own lab here's my wi-fi my router in front of me then i have my android mobile phone which is connected to the wi-fi all right it's only the system that is not connected so let's just go ahead and fire the attack uh, as we know that the first thing to do uh specifically is just to open up the terminal and uh, we need to set up our interface to at we want to launch specific up like that okay like this should be nice uh let me just switch to the root user all right okay so that's it so the first we want to do is that we want to bring the interface down uh and my own interface is one and zero uh to actually check here you can just do if config then um, you can see i have interface wlan zero here so it, let's just go ahead and put this interface there so if config wlan zero down so the interface is done then we basically want to change the mac address so mac change attack a uh the wlan zero so we've changed the mac address uh now then we can just bring it up again if config wlan zero up like that so that was the first step uh, let's just set it into uh, a folder I already created. Alright, let me just pre issue this command. Uh, <coughs> Alright, so the folder is actually empty and uh, empty now. You can see I have an empty folder, nothing is there. And the first thing we want to do is that we want to listen through our environment and listen for Wi Fi or the list of Wi Fi that are on and see devices that are connected to it. To do that, we just put our our interface into the monitor mode. We can just M on uh, like that hack ng. Then we can just uh, go ahead and start it on one line zero like that. So M on then we can do W line zero if I'm right. Okay, so sorry, we need to start it. I missed that. All right. So uh, it's actually go ahead and put our interface into 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 uh, monitor mode, and for us to actually check for some processes that might interrupt our 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 monitor, I will sniff around uh, the environment for any Wi-Fi that is on. So we need to issue the command mmong tag ng ng like that. Then we want to check for Q. So that's going to kill the uh, any processes that actually sorry m on i didn't really put that right m on like that so so that's going to kill any processes that can actually interrupt our sniffing or yes our sniffing fire from being monitor mode or to switch from to uh let's give some few seconds to is that we are going to sniff around that's of look for any wi-fi that is actually running and once we get the hold of that wi-fi we are going to pick up the information of that wi-fi 
and once we pick up the information of the wi-fi we are going to deauthenticate uh, anyone that is already connected to the wi-fi which means that uh, any computer around any devices around that is already con connected to that wi-fi that already have the password connected we are going to deauthenticate them so the trick is that we want to kick them we are going to send a, a, a packet that are going to kick them off the network of the wi-fi and uh, the specifically going to just reconnect again so once the the, the wi-fi try to reconnect again from the devices that is already connected to that wi-fi then we are going to grab our handshake then once we grab our handshake we are going to uh, crack this our handshake with a lot of our word lists then to to specific pull out any password that the user might use that might be in the inside the word list it, uh, itself and that is why this attack is not that really really efficient because uh, if that password is not really in our word list definitely we are not going to be able to crack the wi-fi password we are not able to get it um, let us go ahead and see uh, how well. so what we want to do is that we want to do air dump it's not air deck it's air dump arrow dump sorry arrow dump like that so we want to just listen to uh, wline 0 force so what we are doing is that we are using the our interface to listen around uh for let me expand this if i can do that all right what we are doing specifically is just to listen around for anyone with a uh, already wi-fi that is connected and right now as you can see i just connect the android wi-fi i just put it on and immediately it showed down right here so this is the android that i connected to my lab and this is the Wi-Fi that we're trying to attack and we need to keep uh, some of this information uh, in hand so the this is the BSS ID of the Wi-Fi that we're trying to attack and this is the BSS ID you can see they are the same thing and this is the device that is connected to the Wi-Fi so if we have any other device that connect to this same Wi-Fi they are going to show up then there's just a list of them if it's Android or something and okay if we look uh, right here we're going to realize that our encryption type is wpa2 which is the kind of uh, uh encryption that we are using now and our authenticator mo authentication mode is uh psk so let's just go ahead and fire our attack against this uh, wi-fi so i'm just going to cut this off and to really uh go ahead and save we do arrow dome then sorry another thing i forgot to mention is that the channel at which our wi-fi is running with this channel in game 11 we need to put it right there then the type type of uh, encryption that we're actually looking for uh i think is psk if is is that psk yeah i think it's psk and then we basically stepping around for all this information so we want to check channel 11 the psk and uh, we can even go ahead and uh, what's it called and um, provide the bss id if it is b so the bss id of the wi-fi there you we want to really sniff for to look for is this guy right here so you can just paste that and do wlan zero and the, you basically it's actually going to do the same thing that nothing but just go ahead and listen to this uh to this wi-fi and look for anyone that is already connected to you so we can see right here we have the same information that we have um just in case uh, that previous command i, I entered to get here is a really important you may where there are a lot of Wi-Fi there and you just to the, the the screen to go up up the list of your target Wi-Fi. Alright, so let's just go ahead and open our terminal. Um just permit me to go ahead and switch to the root user from here too. Alright, so I'm just going to go into the uh, document and the Wi-Fi specifically. Okay, so what we are try uh, basically trying going to do, I'm still going to cut this because I uh, we need some of your information right here. What we are trying to going to do is that we want to capture something called handshake. And if I do a less here, you see there is nothing, no information here or there out. Nothing is really there for us. Okay, so I need some information right here. So we already know who our target is. Okay we this is our target this is the wi-fi that we want to have this other information and this wi-fi here you can see is this is this one and this is the android phone that is connected to it or let me say the device that is connect connected to this uh, to this wi-fi so what we can do specifically uh, we can author a command which is a uh, error 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 play like that error play that can then what we want to do is that we want to de-authenticate 
so how many times do you want to authenticate you want to send the, the authentication packet we just want to send it five times like that and then we can just go here and copy the mac address of the access point so this is the access point then we put it right here tag a for access point then we uh just going to copy the mac address of the client so this is the client which is the device that connect already to the wi-fi then we can just say tag c then the wi-fi so maybe i should put this down a bit all right all right like that and also which interface that we want to use we basically want to use a uh, wlan zero so before you actually press enter here we just need to go ahead and start uh these uh we need to alter this command a again then so that we are going to be sniffing around already so we are going to know where we actually go ahead and have the handshake so if you move here if you just press enter on this command all it's just do is just sending the authentication packets to this wi-fi and trying to kick off uh this guy that is already connected this device that is already connected and trying to kick it off the Wi-Fi so the device itself is going to reset itself and then reconnect the Wi-Fi again and once you reconnect you can see up here we already have our handshake here so that's all we have since we have our handshake we can just go ahead and pull this guy down here so once we pull it down I think it's well it all makes sense like that so what well, information that we need right here is actually from air crack sorry air crack itself so i'm just going to spread tac tac f so let me put this up again um uh, if you look at uh this app there are a lot of information as you can see we have the w for the part of the word list which we are going to specify and also we have the e we spread the target ess id uh we have the tag b for the access points which is uh some informations that we need to really provide for us to crack this wi-fi so let's just go ahead and use air crack air crack that can like that and the first thing that i want us to order uh, is tag b so uh, if you if you actually go up right here you can see tag b is bss id of the access point so this is a uh, the bss id of the access point so this is it we just copy it and pull it up right here we paste it it's right right there then um, we need the, the parts of our word list so that's tag w then tag w for word list then i have uh, one word list and opt word list i think i have the i have uh, sec list so sec list is actually one of a very very um very 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 good word lists let me just put this down a bit sorry all right passwords then if we go i want to actually choose a uh, common credentials so that's actually my own word list then we, we need to provide uh, the interface so if you if you go back to the app command you can see it say uh air crack uh, options our options and our file our files input file our options and our input file so <coughs> so i think uh, there is one information that we are missing because we if we if we come down right here do ls ls oh wow so i really got this wrong um uh, i think what i do specifically when i was looking for the handshake is that uh, when i issue this command uh i did specify tag uh write which means it's going to save the handshake into our into our local computer um i forgot that so what i can just call is is called smile so which means that anything I'm, I'm actually trying to capture from me is going to save it inside the smile 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 file so what i can do from here is just to cancel what i was doing before and go up up and issue this command again so we want to send the authentication packet again so once we send the authentication packet again uh we just wait for our handshake to come up so we already have our handshake then you can just go ahead and put it up there if you do this you can see we uh we have smile.cap smile.svz in here sorry in all kind of formats right here so uh, i don't know where i was thinking why do i have to do that so let's just go ahead and crack this so we can say air crack so uh our file that we actually want to crack let's just set our bss id and also we want to set our word list which is our splash opt word list i guess then um sec lists then password 
common credentials um so we just have uh, one million common credentials as you can see i have one common password dot twin mm, i was thinking which one is actually one million the most common use password is 10 million password list then uh let's just use 100k uh, let's use 10k most common uh, password so 10k uh, most common password then we want to push my dot cap right here so our capture file so this is just going to go ahead and if the password that we So you see this guy is yes. we thank him. Andre K must come. Okay, all right, that's nice. It will be easy, really. One, two, three. So. Do I um? I'm going to provide the and it's just as simple for. I think be like that on Google. The second is on 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 Git. This kind of attack is not really, really something that is a. Uh, very efficient because because once the password is not in our word list you really definitely will be able to crack the password you have to wait for it this imagine if you have 10 million word lists you just keep going like that so the attack is not really efficient if you really want to learn uh, advanced wi-fi hacking attack you can subscribe to one of my hacking tutorial to really learn go deeper in this so this wi-fi hacking tutorial or uh, this basic one are just for free so go ahead and enjoy it okay all right so uh without wasting much of our time let's just quickly move back to our slide all right so how to protect yourself from this attack you do not use web encryptions and wpsk uh, 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 okay you use you do not use web enc encryption you can use wp encryption you just make sure that you use a longer password and you make sure that you change your password recently and you you basically do not use a very simple password you make sure you use a password that is really much more complicated and contain a lot of uh, a lot of special characters like hashtags, string tags, quality bridges, square bridges, and so on like that. So now, so uh, the, we are officially run to the end of the of the of the tutorial. So the next tutorial online is actually how to create malware. Which I made a mistake with that. I didn't say that with MSF console. So thank you for your time. Alright, see you in the next tutorial.